Welcome back. All right, so another Monday has come and gone in the National Hockey League. It's done early. If you cheer for a home team, you didn't get to cheer tonight, unless you like fighting. And even that was just, I think, in the one game. So, uh, yeah, it was, it was kind of a quiet night in the National Hockey League scoring-wise. I've been expecting safe percentages to come up. I think we're starting to see that. Um, on the weekend, there was definitely some games that were low scoring, and uh, here we go with a couple more. So it's LA against the Nashville Predators. Uh, it's Kemper versus Saros. Early jump for the Kings. Uh, they get some zone time, the Preds. Uh, they block, and then a hold by Saros. There's a near miss for Del Gaizo. The Kings clear out there. The shots are 3-1 to one for the Kings, three and a half minutes in. Uh, Byfield to Turcotte gets blocked. We get a power play for Nashville. There's an early clear, and then another. Uh, there's a late cycle that power plays killed off no shots on net. The first of what was a few frustrating moments for Nashville fans tonight. Um, neither team getting prime chances in the first half of that period. The Kings press halfway through. The shots are 7-2 to two LA with 9.5 minutes left. Forsberg's tonight on a 3-on-2 rush. LaRue has a 2-on-1 chance. That's tonight. And then at 13-24, uh, Kopitar with a smart move. He banks one in off UC Soros. Clark and Campe with the assists. So the LA Kings are up 1-0. Uh, the Kings then draw a power play. That does end up being killed off. Nashville presses with two and a half minutes left. R LaRue's denied from the slot in the final minute. It's 1-0 Kings after one. Second period. Saros is tested early. There's a net feed to LaRue. There's a near miss there. Uh, Sissons is denied and close. The rebound's cleared. Yossi has a slapper. That's held. There's a press by Nashville at three and a half minutes. Things get pushy on a hold by Kemper. Uh, shots are 4-2 to two Nashville at four and a half minutes. Uh, Byfield has a wraparound chance. That's blocked. Del Geizo prevents a goal for the Kings. Really nice play there. The puck goes through Soros, and he pulls it out, and it's gone. Uh, Preds clear there. Uh, linesman gets shaken up along the boards. Uh, Fiala has a net drive this defended. We then get a fight between Janot and Shen. Uh, play gets going again, and then we had a fight between Burroughs and O'Reilly. The Preds come out of that one with a power play. There's an early clear and another. Shea has a shot that's blocked. There's a near miss for Evangelista. That power play's killed off. Uh, the Kings press are kept to the outside. Clark has a screenshot that's saved. The fans call one. The referee does not. Uh, things are pushy and punchy with 631 left after a hit on a hit by Lauzon. Uh, the fans and then we have four on four that's the result of that. So fans call one, then we have the Lauzon hit, then we get four on four. There we go in, uh, in order. Pressed by Nashville with four and a half minutes left. Pretty fighty game in the second period, but more importantly, Nashville doesn't get enough shots. Not enough prime chances. Uh, Nyquist has a stretch pass to Forsberg that's a near miss. They just weren't quite in sync offensively tonight, and when they were, uh, Kemper made the saves where he needed to. So we go to the third with the score still 1-0 LA. Uh, fun Star Wars jerseys. The, it was Star Wars night, and those Preds jerseys and Star Wars, er, the Star Wars jerseys and Preds colors, not too shabby. 35 seconds in on a turnover, Fiala buries a rebound, Deno with the assist. Uh, so the dark side was winning 2 nothing at that point. The Kings get a power play. There's an early clear. That power play is killed off. The shots are 4 nothing LA at 5 minutes. Uh, Kings are blocking out the Preds really well, not giving them much at all. And in the third period, it was a master class of defense. Byfield has a net drive that's saved as the Kings press. Yossi to Nyquist near miss. The Kings draw another power play. Deno is the shot that's held. That power play ends up being killed off as well. Uh, the Kings press are kept to the outside. Preds draw a power play. They really needed a goal. It just wasn't happening. There's an early clear and another. We then get 40 or 55 seconds of 4-on-4, four four, which ends that power play. Moore's denied and close during the brief power play for the Kings. Everything's killed off there. Shots are 10-0 for the Kings with 4 minutes left. Preds then start getting a little bit of chances. They they do uh, press. They do get the first shot on goal. Goalie pull happens with 3.54 left. A puck bounces over Nyquist's stick. If that hadn't bounced over his stick, odds are he probably scores, makes it 2-1. But instead, Kempe gets the empty netter. Lewis and Gavrikov with the assists at 17.02. And then just to add injury to insult, uh, Novak gets shaken up in a collision with his teammate, Sissons. So that's, that's the kind of night it was for Nashville. And there's a little bit of booing from the Nashville crowd to close things out. I think more of a frustration that the team just couldn't break through that L.A. defense. L.A. wins this one 3-0. They go to 7-3-3 three on the season. Nashville drops to 4-7-1. Shots on that 12-6 L.A. in the first. 7-3 Nashville in the second. 12-3 L.A. in the third. Final shots 27-16 L.A. 
power plays. The Kings 0 for 4, Nashville 0 for 3. The hits 21 to 12, Nashville. Kemper saves all 16 shots for the shutout. Relatively easy night for him, especially in the third. And Soros saves 24 out of 26 at the other end. All right. And the other game tonight was Edmonton at home against the New Jersey Devils. It was Jake Allen at one end and Pickard at the other. I, I guess Allen must have watched the preview where I mentioned coming into tonight he had an 876 save percentage. He wanted to fix that. It looks like he did. Uh, so a good early, good early flow to the game. Not a lot of whistles early on. Henry can't bury one in close on a good cycle. The Oilers press at two and a half minutes. The Devils, they get some pressure at three and a half minutes. Uh, Hyman then has a near miss on a rebound at the Devils net. And then the Devils get on the board first. It is Nason from Cotter at 516. It's from the slot, past a screen, and it was the first shot on net for New Jersey. So not a ton of shots for New Jersey tonight, but some smart ones when they got them. Uh, Devils look for another. The shots, though, are 5-2 to two Edmonton in six and a half minutes. Hamilton has a one-timer that's kicked aside. Momentum for the Devils since that goal, too. It really seemed to boost their confidence. Um, near miss by Dreisaitl and Ekholm as the Oilers are looking to tie it. The teams exchange rush chances. Brown has a rush chance that's saved. Uh, the Oilers press with eight and a half minutes left. Ryan fires one wide on a net drive for the Oilers. Uh, Henrique is denied and close. The shots are nine apiece with five and a half minutes left. Uh, the fans call one. The referee does not. Jack Hughes to Brat. There's a near miss there on a rush. And uh, it's one nothing Devils after one. Second period. Uh, early jump for the Oilers. The Devils, though, had the only shot on net four minutes in. So the Oilers having trouble hitting the net at that point. And again, good flow, not a lot of whistles. Pretty fast game in this one. Uh, Skinner's denied. The Devils rush the other way. Brown can't bury one in close. Allen holds there. Uh, the Devils press at seven minutes. They're kept to the outside. The Oilers press, but there's an offensive zone penalty to Hyman, uh, which which ends that pressure, although there's a diving call as well, so that makes it four on four. The Oilers press during the following four on four. Fans call one. The referee does not. The shots are four to one. Oilers with nine minutes left. The Oilers have some momentum. Momentum, though, doesn't add up to goals. Uh, Ryan Nugent Hopkins to Hyman is blocked at the net. Uh, Hamilton has a rush chance that's held. Bouchard wires one over the net from the high slot. The shots are 8-2 to two for Edmonton with five minutes left. They controlled a lot of this game. Jake Allen just played really, really well. 3.54 left. The Devils get a power play, and they score on it. It's 16.34. It's Nason from the slot on a good cycle. Heischer and Hamilton with the assists. That makes it 2-0 for the Devils. Really took the crowd out of the game there. Uh, Brown then can't bury one. Allen holds on there. The Oilers press in the final minute. The Devils block. Connor Brown's getting opportunities. At some point, that puck's going in the net. But it's 2-0 New Jersey after two. Third period. Perry has a net drive that's defended. The Oilers draw a power play. They cycle. Nugent Hopkins can't quite get one in the net. Puck's cleared out after that. Bouchard then has the slapper that saved. They clear the puck again. That ends that power play. Oilers unsuccessful tonight. Shots are 4-1 to one for the Oilers at 5 minutes. Brown fires one wide on a rush. Hamilton has a slot shot that's blocked out. And then, on a fast break, Timo Meyer, filthy hands here. Uh, he buries one in close. Mercer with the assist at 9.25 makes it 3 nothing. And that was, a, that was a filthy goal there by Meyer to make it 3 nothing. Uh, and again, Jake Allen when tested. Very sharp tonight. Not really much of an issue for him. Shots are 7-3 to three for the Oilers with 7 minutes left. Uh, the, the Devils just making sure they get really good shots when they get the chance. And spoiler alert, the Devils defended well and they didn't need a shot the rest of the way. The Oilers press with 6.5 minutes left. The Devils guilty of some, some icings here. I think there was 4 in like a 5 minute period there. But you're up by 3. It's fine. Um, so the goalie pull happens with 4.5 minutes left. There's an empty net miss by Jack Hughes. The Devils ice the puck with 2.06 left. Pod Colson has a shot that's held. And then on the next faceoff with 125 left, they put the goalie back in. And you know what? Good. Uh, it drives me insane when a coach leaves the goalie out with like a minute left. I'm like, you, you're not going to get three goals in a minute. But anyways, uh, your final score in this one's 3 nothing. So two Tony the Tiger Magnets. The home teams didn't have a goal tonight. And in the third period of this game, all I was thinking was, have I ever seen this before where no home team gets a goal? The home crowd doesn't have a reason to cheer. So the Devils are 8-5-2 on the season. The Oilers are 6-6-1. Six, six, Shots on net. Favored the Oilers the whole way. 13-10 in the first, 10-3 in the second, and 8-3 in the third. Final shots are 31-16 for the Oilers. Power plays, New Jersey scored on the only one they had. Edmonton did not score on the only one they had. 
Uh, Allen, 31 saves for the shutout. I believe they said his 26th of his career. And Pickard, 13 saves on 16 shots. I feel bad for him. That's a rough save percentage for Pickard. I don't think he could have saved any of those three. Those were all very good shots that beat him. So New Jersey didn't get frequent opportunities, but when they did, they made them count. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe in the event that you haven't done so already. Uh, pretty quiet Monday. Honestly, Monday, very quiet day today. So at some point soon, things have to get noisy. Some kind of big trade or some kind of big event's got to take place. So uh, up until then, I'll be here to report on things that happen when they do. Let me know your thoughts, though. Thank you guys so much for all your support, as always. I will talk to you again soon.